Well, mark your calendar. Four more Sundays until Mother's Day, but it's never too early to start thinking about those special gifts and ideas and for all those ladies in your life. One way you can do that is by making a gift, and one way we can do that is by heading over to Make South Bend. I'm joined by Michelle Fitzgerald. Thanks for waking up for us this yeah, morning. No problem. And you're the mm -hmm. owner of Make South Bend. Really such an interesting cause that you guys yeah. have going over there. So before we get to all these little sure. goodies we have on the table, tell yeah. us kind of about Make South Bend. Um, at Make South Bend, we really want to encourage people to get their hands in the creative process. So we have the tools and equipment that you can come use, get a day pass and just go crazy, or you can do classes. Um, and then we also encourage those who are ready makers by supporting them through things like we have a gift shop where they can sell their items, and then a maker's market we do each third Thursday. So this coming Thursday is our maker's market, and we'll feature some um, products that were made by local artisans. Okay, and so for Mother's Day, obviously that's on everyone's yeah. mind. Yes. You can make something, but you can also buy something if you're a little yes. less creative. <laughs> so you, you can make, there are a few things you can make. If you want to come in, we'll have a few featured projects that are easy to make for moms. Um, a few of them we have are a monogrammed uh, coffee mug. Okay, and then these as well here. And then some maybe nice. customized wooden utensils. So we've got like the wood burning tools and utensils, and each of these projects are like $5 in materials when you get a day pass. So then you could just keep adding whatever you need to add. Oh, nice. And then you can also do some jewelry. If mom likes jewelry, you can make her a custom necklace with um, maybe her favorite gems. And here's and one, too. A little strawberry yep. on this one, I believe. And that's one you made. Yeah. So you're quite the artist as well. I do everything. <laughs> <laughs> I like to make a lot of things. So you can make your own things. These are really easy to string together and do something custom for mom, and she'll be really happy that you made something. Um, but if you aren't too crafty and you're not sure, you just want to find something, we do have a, a maker's market um, this Thursday from 6 to 8. So we'll have about a half a dozen artisans, and they'll have things like these um, little necklace pieces. I think there's someone with fused glass. We have someone who does pottery, and this is like a tea light holder. Um, some spa products, bath and body things. There's little soap gems you can pick up. Um, and I think there'll be even like bags and accessories. Just great gifts for mom. And it seems yeah. like with Make South Bend, I mean, it's not only about, you know, the actual yeah. product and making that stuff, but about bringing people together as well. Yeah, we want to try to support and create this community around makers um, where people are kind of being able to know who, who made something and who's behind it and really get that feel that we're supporting something local. And you also have lots of classes coming up for Mother's Day, oh, yeah. like you mentioned. Now, of course, you can check all that out on your Facebook yes. page, website. We've got their website mm -hmm. pulled up here, dot com, or yeah. <laughs> makesouthbend.com. Yeah. And then we also have your Facebook page is a really great resource to find yes. a lot of those classes. We update the Facebook regularly, so we'll have probably some more pictures later of um, these projects and what you can do to come in and do those. Um, but if you do want to do a class, just drop in. We have uh, classes every day. They're just one one session classes, and you'll have something to take home at the end. Okay, Michelle, thanks yeah. so much for joining us. Yeah, thank Matt, you, over guys. to you.